Here's to the good days. Here's to the sorrows. This is a mistake. I know about tomorrow. I don't wanna fight no more, 'cause I don't feel the need no more. No, just wanna make it stop. Maybe it's something in the water, or maybe we just hit the end of the road. Right now it doesn't even matter. It's too late not to let it go, and that's why I wish you the best to say goodbye. We start to get dressed and then we cry, 'cause we both know it's gonna hurt. But not as much as this does. We had a good run. Don't say we didn't. I was your first love, and you were my first one. Cheers to all the memories, the venom and the remedies. Yeah, promise I won't forget. Yeah. Maybe it's something in the water, or maybe we just hit the end of the road. Right now it doesn't even matter. It's too late not to let it go, and that's why. I'm You're the best to say goodbye. We start to get dressed and then we cry. 'Cause we both know it's gonna hurt, but not as much as this does. So baby, bye. It's for the best, and you know why. You gotta leave me here tonight before we make this even worse. It's gonna hurt even. Hold on. Can you hear me? Okay. So, fun fact: I just woke up. I'm an hour late. Hold on. Let me get. Let me get it together. Somebody was supposed to wake me up. Hey, everybody. Sorry for being an hour late. Oh my God, y'all are so nice. Thank you so much for being here. Even though I'm an hour late, <laughs> I just woke up. I went to a hockey game yesterday, my first Minnesota hockey game. And it was, well, it was actually the first um, professional women's hockey game here. And it was the Minnesota team. And they did so good they won. Uh, I'm going to wait to turn my light on until my husband gets back. Did you get the small one or the bigger one? Did you get the small one or the bigger one? They both fit. Well, you can look. Um, is that a new purple light? No. Um, hey, you're on time. I sent an alarm yesterday when the upcoming showed me. Showed up. Am I on time? I don't think I am. I thought I said it for noon. Central Standard Time, which is one o'clock. It's one o'clock now. But you know what? I'm on time. I'm on time. My time. Even though I'm not. So you want this one? Correct. Okay. Jay, 
you want me to add it to this one that's on here? No. Okay, pausing that one. Wait, one. pause, pause, honey. Can you come press this power button right over here? Like, you see right there? And then I'm going to need you to turn that one on too. There's a little thing down there. And then you can just um turn off this light, the big light. I'll bring you the small one. Okay. Gold, not the big one, please. Thank you. All right. Wow. I'm a mess. Okay. So today, today's the day. Oh, okay. You got it up an hour ago as well. Okay. I feel better. Today's the day that we are going to look. Ah, hold on. I got to see. Okay. I was going to see if um, Melissa Collins had a video we can react to as well thoughts thoughts we can do both we can look at the this it, wild planner that i got and react to a video of hers i just gotta get my life together really quick so let me do let me let me look let me look and see if she has anything i'm sure that she does because she's been like all about doing videos lately No, really, I don't. Oh my gosh, she doesn't. She doesn't have any videos to react to. Oh, except this one. She does have this one. Okay, here, let me get this. First off, let me introduce you to Can you hear me? Do you look inside already? Yes, I already showed my members most of it. Okay, can y'all hear me well? Okay, so here we have 2024 My Badass Planner by Melissa Collins. To start off, I, someone had mentioned that the coils were like good quality. Um, I don't know much about coils, so I can't say whether they are or aren't. But what I will say is they're so big. And like when I hold it, it kind of like mushes a little bit. Um, okay, can you hear me? Because my mic plug-in is being ridiculous today yeah and i need a little spoon please when i say i just woke up i actually like mean like probably a few minutes before i started this live but okay 2024 okay right we got this going on now i will say that this front part i, I mean it's not like regular paper thank you so, I mean, I feel like it could be worse right here. You know what I'm talking about? In fact, here, let me go ahead and make myself the full screen so that you could see. Um, but it definitely is not, like, it's not like paper, but I could rip it still. Does that make sense? It, I think it's, like, laminated, maybe? She skimmed on the cover. Yeah. Um... Why am I screaming? <laughs> Hold on. I got to put my, my creamer in my coffee before I lose it. There we go. How much is this thing again? Well, um, it was 119 and she raised it to 129. Okay. She raised it to 120. So it's $130. 130 bucks. So just <laughs> like a thick notepad. Yeah. Yeah. So, but, but something about the cover, like, first off, I'm not going to like rag on like the flowers and stuff or whatever this is. I'm not, cause it's just not my style. I mean, some people might actually like it. I think this is, I think the cover is more subjective than objective. Um, but I, I just don't want someone else's name on my planner not including shipping. So 129 not including shipping. 
I don't know. I don't know what she's thinking. Right. So uh, I don't know. I, I feel like for me in the past, when I've had planners, you can put your own name on there. I'm just not a big fan of having someone else's name on my big planner that cost $129. You know what I mean? Like, think about that. If it's like 10 bucks and there's a different name on there, that's, you know, okay. But $129 and it's not even my name. It's kind of weird, right? DC said the material she uses too thin to support a book like that. In my opinion, as a graphic designer, he used to print books for companies. Right. The fonts. Why? Now, that's another thing people had mentioned um, when I like posted just a preview of it, is there are several different fonts on this book. <laughs> there are several. But I wish I could tell you that the front was the worst part. And I'm not just trying to like rag on it because like, oh, it's Melissa Collins. I'm, I'm seriously, I, I think that it's, um, I want you to take a moment and go, okay, this book is $129 currently. What should this book have in it for $129? Right. Think of, I think planners that are $50 are expensive, but that's just me. I, I, this is my planner. This. Okay. I do hourly, whatever. And that's like five, five to ten dollars, something like that. Um, but I want you to think if this book is $129, what should it have in it? Because I know book, I know planners book, it's a planner, but it, it's kind of like a like a like a, a dictionary, you know what I mean? Um, it should have everything under the sun possible that you could put in a planner, right? Because there are planners that have I mean, tons of different options of things inside and to attach to it, like add-ons that are $60, $70. It should, it should have a, the rest is that the key to immortality. Oh my gosh. Uh, it should have had nice hardcover that protects the pages. Right. Gold line pages. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> DC said, I'm not saying people wouldn't pay more for a book like that, but it should be magical if it costs that much. Avery said, it should have magic beans with it for that price. Charlene said, I expect it to have business tips and specific tasks to do <laughs> to be successful like Melissa. Right. So some of those who are my members have seen the inside already. So I'm literally, I'm just, we're just at the outside. That's it. So talked about the coils we talked about the front and like like i don't know this definitely i wouldn't say it's not paper like it's paper but it's not it's not paper like the rest of it but it's not good enough for how big the book is and 129 dollars. there's just no way right it looks like a phone directory it does look like a phone directory i planned on putting makeup on and everything but, you know, um, but then I woke up like an hour after the live was supposed to start. So then I just put a hat <laughs> on. So bear with me as you look at me. Okay. So let's go ahead and get into it, right? Let's get into the actual planner itself. So you have a lovely little message on the inside of the front cover by Melissa. And I'm going to read it to you. Excuse me. It says, I made this planner for you because I want 2024 to be the most abundant, loving, beautiful year of your life so far. What I know for sure is that life is happening for you. And if you can get intentional about planning toward your specific goals, you can and will build a life you are madly in love with. It is time for a voiceover. So I was given these messages. If you'll excuse my computer for doing something ridiculous. It says, where were we? You can and will build a life you are madly in love with. My wish for you is that this is you, this year you can start to see yourself the way the rest of us see you, perfectly designed and divinely placed here for a time such as this. You have everything you need already to build your perfect life. Now let's unlock all of that potential. I love you, Melissa. Um. So 
something that really gets me with this front cover is didn't she previously call us all stupid? Remember when she was like, do y'all remember if, if you've been in the lives about Melissa, Melissa is more of a wild one where she's <laughs> what dog is coming in here? Sorry. Phoebe. Oh, come here. I'll show everybody Phoebe. Phoebe, look, Phoebe says hi. Then we were talking about Melissa's planner. You have any thoughts? I know it's pretty bad, isn't it? So it, she's she's acting, she says, I love you, Melissa. But what's so funny is that she called several people who disagree with her or who haven't bought her planner. Like the way that she talked about it, it was like they just aren't intelligent. They don't have it. Do y'all remember? Like she, it was, I think our most recent video on her. Like when it came to lives and she was literally calling people stupid, dumb, and all these different things who hadn't, who, who, for those who hadn't bought her planner yet. And I'm like, oh, all right then. Y'all saw that? She hopped right out. Oh, oh, he's got the food. So that's why. Or the snacks. And I just find it funny that she says, my wish for you is that this year you can start to see yourself the way the rest of us see you. But you said I was stupid, Melissa. Remember, this is this is my planner. And she said, um, my wish for you is that this year you can start to see yourself the way the rest of us see you. You called me stupid. <laughs> what do you mean? First off, oh my gosh, cat. Welcome, cat. Oh my gosh, that picture is so funny. Is that Bugs Bunny out by the pool? I love that. Um, I want to shout out to Cat for being a new member. Welcome, Cat. Let's let's get the jam going. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Okay. Oh, that is such a good jam. And then I saw before we continue on that note. Some member for two months, MLM No. Thank you so much for being a member. MLM No says she only loves people that spend 129 on her. The rest of us are stupid, obviously. Right. So she loves me. I am just kidding. I didn't actually pay for it. Um, Avery Joe, member for 24 months, two years. Avery, that's wild. Can you believe that? Sometimes I forget I've been on YouTube that long. Thank you so much, Avery. That means the world to me. Oh, oh my gosh. Um, don't forget lazy. She also said that. Yeah, she did also say we were lazy. <laughs> the line where her phone was about to die. <laughs> Stupid and lazy. But she loves us. Don't don't forget. Um, yes, you but you got the planner, so you're smart according to her. But don't you love getting yelled at and then uh at, and then that some people and then the same person saying they love you, right. And that is very wild to me because she's yelling at you for if you haven't gotten the planner yet. And then when you open the planner that you got because she yelled at you, she's like, I love you. Weird. Deadly Nightshade said, I'm old enough to remember those old and thick computer program manuals. This took me way back. <laughs> Kat said, I just can't get over the fact that there are zero tabs in that giant book. Right. And, and it gets worse. Uh, I wish I didn't, I wish that wasn't true, but it does get worse. It's like, bless your heart, but worse, Avery. That's a, that's a vibe. And I really think that's her vibe. Bless your heart, but worse. Um, okay. So that's the inside cover. Now we're moving on to the actual 2024 calendar. So this is what we have for like the whole year, 2020. See, this is what this is what those things do. Maybe they're supposed to do that. The coils right here. And I don't like it, but you know, that's that's subjective. So um 2024 calendars. This is you see this background? You see this black and white? This is the whole book. I I talked to Riley about it yesterday. Riley, come show them your, our new Minnesota jersey. We spent a pretty penny on this jersey yesterday. 
Yeah. The Vikings are playing right now. Oh, the Vikings are playing? Well. Oh, that's why you're wearing it. That's cute. So this is this is what you get. This is the background that you get throughout all of this. <gasps> Ellie, hi. I love when a longtime lurker comments. That's so nice. First time in chat, I watch on my PS5, so don't have chat normally, but wanted to say I love you, JJ, and appreciate your content so much. You keep me company when I'm sick. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. I have I have certain YouTubers that keep me company when I'm sick too. So I'm glad that I could do that for you. Wow. No color, no tabs, like what makes it so expensive, right, Paris? Um, th this is what you get throughout the whole book. And, and I'm not talking about this 2024 calendar. I'm talking about this background. You see this gap up here in the pages. You see this black and white, this kind of like shadow of a leaf. That's every, that's like every page. But honestly, that's like what you just saw. This is the most fancy page, really. I'm serious. This is the most fancy. And now we're turning to what every month looks like. So you're going to see this at the beginning of every month, okay? We have, and I ripped this page for my, where is it? Right here. I'm backwards on my, on my computer. I ripped this page for my members <laughs> because of how flimsy it is. Like, it's just a piece of paper. And I guess that's fine, but... I mean, it's so big, I feel like you would need them to be a little sturdier, right? Like, maybe not. Um, January 1st, or the first month, January 2024. So it has, you know, the days that it has to do and notes. Okay. That's that. That's that. The corners were cut out of the printing machine. Yeah. I'm so sorry for those who are graphic designers and are really struggling. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, hold on. Um, wait, somebody said they, Courtney said, please actually try to use this so, some so we can see how fast. If, okay, y'all want me to try to use it? Let me know if you, let me know. Y'all want me to try to use this? I will. Um, <clears throat> we have January. She wrote another paper, <laughs> another long page. Um, it, and this is the monthly aspect. So I'll read this to you in a second, but at the bottom, there's also two options, the top four goals for 2024 and priorities of what matters most to me. Now I have a feeling that you're supposed to put stuff about MLM here, but she doesn't specify. So let me read this to you. I'm going to set it down instead of, well, you know what? It's pretty big writing, so I can read it, holding it up to you. And y'all can read it too. It says, as we enter 2024, setting clear and actionable intentions is a cornerstone of personal and professional growth. Start by envisioning where you want to be at at the end of the year and then work backward, establishing milestones that are specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time bound, which is what S, which is what SMART spells out. Oh, so I guess I've entered my SMART era and not my stupid era anymore compared to what she says. Write down your objectives, breaking them down into quarterly, monthly, and even weekly tasks to maintain a steady pace towards success. Embrace flexibility as the path. Oh, sorry, I'm yawning. Excuse me. Embrace flexibility as the path to your goals may require adjustment and ensure that each goal aligns with your values and long-term vision. Regular reflection on your progress will keep you motivated on a track. And on track, excuse me. Remember, goal setting is not just about reaching a destination. It's about creating and fulfilling journey through this year. How much does this planner weigh? She said it weighs four pounds and my wrists are also agreeing with that right now. As I'm holding my wrists are the holders right now, currently, I'm about to have to use my freaking arm muscles because it's pretty heavy. <laughs> Y'all want me to use this thing? Y'all think I can carry? This is not going to fit in my backpack. Um, so that's what, that's, what's been written, um, at the front of the month. Now we're going to get into it. Like, I feel like we haven't actually gotten into it. So we have, but so that, so what I just showed you where it says like the first of January, it's like one January, 2024, and then it has the calendar that's for, so from that on each month has that January dinner plans. January dinner plans. January dinner plans. <laughs> don't know how else to say that. January dinner plans. 
what I wanted to do before I got on here, but didn't because I was asleep and apparently slept way longer than I thought I was going to, was look and see which ones are like uh, repeated in each month. Why no? Why no lunch or breakfast? Well, I don't. I don't. <laughs> There's not enough room for lunch or breakfast plans. Um. Then you have a grocery plan, but the grocery plan is like fruits and vegetables, dairy and eggs, meat and poultry, seafood, pantry staples, breads and grains, beverages, snacks and sweeties, snacks and sweets, sweeties, um, household items. So <clears throat> what gets me though is that for the January dinner plans, I don't really have like a list to go by what I need to purchase for it. I mean... Pesto chicken. Like, I, I don't know how to cook pesto chicken. Let's just act like I don't, right? Let's just act like I don't. So thank you for this January dinner plan, but I don't know how to cook that. How can I cook that? I, all I have is week one, Monday through Sunday, grilled lemon garlic salmon with quinoa and asparagus. And we have Tuesday. That was Monday. Tuesday, vegetable stir fry with tofu served over brown rice. Wednesday, chicken Caesar salad with whole grain croutons. Thursday, turkey chili with mixed beans inside of corn and, and a side of cornbread. F Friday, shrimp paella with a variety of vegetables. Saturday, homemade vegetable pizza with a mixed green salad. Sunday, beef and vegetables. She, <laughs> she has made a meal plan for us. Well, well, she, I wouldn't say that. She, <laughs> maybe, she made a dinner meal plans for us. And what is happening? That is a good question, Nicole. I'm still not sure. And then, you know, we have our grocery plan. So if you want to write your groceries in there, you can. And then this one gets me. And it might, I might just be, I might just be picking. I might just be a little picky right now. Well, actually, I actually remember in our members live first, because I showed them this first. I showed I show members stuff normally first. I try to. And in our members live, I, someone said, well, that, that's spelled wrong. Okay. On every page. It's on every one of the, every month. Incomes and expenses. Isn't it supposed to be income and expenses? Isn't, because isn't incomes like, like you have one income, income that your expenses are inside of, or like, you know, that the money's inside of, right? It's like one larger thing, right? Incomes and expenses. Right? Okay, it should be singular. Thank you, Avery. Multiple income, silly. Right, okay, so income and expenses. Remember, y'all, she said she didn't finish high school, so we gotta give her a little... We gotta give her a little... But she did call me stupid, so then I don't know how to feel about that. You know what I mean? Um. But isn't your income, like, all of what you're getting, like, your total amount of money, no matter where it's from? Multiple streams of incomes. Maybe that's what she meant. I don't know. Okay, so then that's there. Well, let's move on to... You know what? I actually want to show you this incomes and expenses really quick. So we have the date, the income, the category, and the amount. And then we have the date, the income, the expense, the category, the amount. Is she thinking this is all the expenses we're going to have? She probably has like, um, you know, because she's pretty wealthy. She probably has uh, an accountant. She thinks this is all the expenses I'm going to have. And she thinks I have this many incomes. <laughs> I'm sorry, huh? This is all that she's given us for expenses, y'all. Uh, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There's eleven or twelve slots. I didn't count it. Oh, I, I think there's eleven. There's eleven spots. Like, since boss babe millionaire thing to push for seven streams of income, maybe she meant income stream. Yeah, it's just funny because it sounds so weird on incomes and expenses, right? It just sounds so funny because it because income and expenses is what it like like normally is. So it just makes it really funny. Dunder Mifflin would never 
But yeah, so you only have 11 slots to put your expenses. So spend wisely, you know? Could you imagine being in several different MLMs or like having several different income streams and then only giving us 11 slots to spend? And that includes like all your bills and all like your rent and everything or your mortgage. Just do profit and loss statement. I have a Google Excel sheet that does the same thing for free. Right. <clears throat> so the next thing we're moving on to is finally we're on days of the week. So this is what she's given us. And this is just your daily to-do list, okay? For Monday. We have top three goals. We have our daily to-do list. And then we have save for tomorrow. Okay, that's your that's your Monday for your daily to do list. Top three goals, your actual to do list, and save for tomorrow. She has written underneath top three goals. What are your top three goals to accomplish for the day? To do list. Check off your tasks throughout the day. I guess I guess I don't. I guess it's fine that she's explaining what those mean, but I feel like people don't need explanations. But you know, that's just me. Save for tomorrow. Didn't get anything done. Didn't get everything done today. Don't worry. There's always tomorrow. And then I guess I'm a little bit confused. I don't know. I guess that makes sense right here. We have Monday daily schedule. And see, this is my kind of thing. I'm an hourly girly. How does it feel to write on that paper? How does it feel to write on this paper? It, the paper kind of feels a little weird, like, um, like it's not smooth paper. That makes sense. It's got a little, like I can tell something was printed on it. Do you know what I mean? Um, but it's kind of weird to write on. Like, I feel like, um, it's a little bumpy. It's the shine. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, that, um, yeah, it's just a little bumpy, and I'm guessing it's because, does it show the ink through? Well, let's check it out, shall we? Yep, sure does on my end. You can't see it, but I can see right through this sucker. To-do list, right? Okay, so we have top three goals, to-do lists, save for tomorrow. I can see right through it. <laughs> um, but anyway, hourly there. So that's what each month and each day gets you. So then we have Tuesday. We have top three goals, to-do list, save for tomorrow. Then we have that hourly thing that she was talking about, schedule appointment. And then you have your hourly stuff. Okay. Same for Wednesday. Top three goals, to-do list, save for tomorrow. I think a pen test would be interesting, especially for a highlighter. Oh, that's an interesting one. I'll do you one better. Oh, yeah. There's no way you could use a highlighter on this. Do y'all see my orange mark through there? That's not a highlighter. Y'all can see my orange mark through that. Could you do a review on her site? You know what? I could, Hannah. I could. It's a good, it's a good thing. You know, and, and I, I will be fair and honest. And I'm also going to use it for a little bit. You know what I mean? Like, I'm actually going to try it on. And so, yeah, that's what each day looks. And then let's just refresh our months. So let's refresh. I'm going to, we're going to refresh what's in the months. So we have that, that first calendar month thing with the to do's and the notes. This is for February. And then we have this next part where she's written and, and I'll read this one out to y'all too. And then we also have top four goals for February priorities. What matters most to me? So I'll go ahead and read this. It says, as February unfolds, the initial Russian New Year's resolutions can be 
begin to fade, but maintaining focus on is critical to turn your goals into reality. This month, concentrate on establishing routines that foster discipline and revisit the why behind your aspirations to reignite your passion. Yeah, when they want you to revisit your why, it's because they want you to not quit. Yeah, don't quit because remember your why? They're going to use that against you no matter what. It's like, oh, but you've lost money. Well, remember your why. Like, why would you leave when you lost money? Just stay till you've made money so that your why can actually become a real. Like, you can, this is going to sound so lame, but you can live your dreams. That's literally what people told me in MLM. Like, you can live your dreams with by by making money in MLM. So, it's time to refine your strategies, eliminating distractions that may have research or that may have surfaced and doubling down on productivity techniques that suit your style, such as time blocking or Pomodoro technique. Remember, the luster of new goals may wane, but your commitment to them should not. By anchoring your daily actions to the outcomes you desire, you'll build momentum that carries you past these early stages of pursuit. Sorry, I am yawning and into a pattern of consistent achievement. Why is it so bulky? And okay, here's my thought. I want to know your thought. Um, I think that she thought if she made it big, bulky, huge, it would seem four pounds. My wrist, my right wrist is hurting. I'm not kidding. She it would she would make it seem more important than it is, right? She would make it seem like, yeah, $129 for this is fine. Look how big it is. Look how important it is. But it's, it's very simply just a basic planner that's not done very well. It, it's, it's, it, it should cost 20 bucks max. And with the, you know, with what everything looks like, it should probably cost less than that. Because she didn't put effort into this. There's no color. There's no, there's no nothing. There's nothing that's telling me. This should be $130, right? Because it went from 119 to 129 Like, why am I holding, um, why, why am I holding a large city's phone book? I don't get it. Grifter's going to grift. You got that right. And listen, and I like what Cinna, aka Potato Supreme, says. I love bulky planners, but this is not it. Right. And, you know, bulky planners are great. I know Aaron Condren has some good ones. But but this is just a grift. Like Sonia's saying, grift is going to grift. It is very much a grift. And I think that um, being that big ensures it's not portable and collects dust. Right, Santiago. That is a good point. 130 for prompts. Well, and there's not even that many prompts. You can't like, I don't know. I feel, I feel like she made it bigger and bulkier because she could be like four pounds. Oh my gosh. It's got so much goodness in it. It is so big. It has everything that you need, but no, it doesn't like, where's my habit tracker? I like a good habit tracker. Why am I spending $130 on something that's not going to help me track my habits? There's, there's nothing in this that is, I don't need dinner plans. Okay. I need a habit tracker. I don't need a grocery plan. I want water intake. Like I, I, I don't get it. I also, I like a notes page. I, I'm a little extra, but I like a notes page on every month so that I can just jot down because for, for YouTube stuff, I like to do, um, like I like to put what's in my brain on a piece of paper. Nothing. There's nothing like that. <laughs> Nicole, but but Julie, Melissa wants you to have pesto chicken for dinner, though. Would ink bleed through? Um, I don't know about a basic pen. I don't think basic pen ink would bleed through. Let me check it out. Oh. Well. Yeah, it did, actually. Um, I just kind of did a little scribble, and it bled right through. Let me, let me actually, let me write stuff down. <clears throat> let me try something. I'm going to write down like, I'm going to do like an 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. kind of fill out thing. Um, let 
and let's see if it bleeds through. Um, All right, hold on. I've only done half of the day. So here's what I've got. I just kind of wrote down wake up, work out, work, grocery pickup, clean house. Very simple stuff. Let's see. Well, look at that. You can see right through the page. No, it didn't come with the pen. You can see right through the page. You can see what I wrote on the page before. With, with a ballpoint pen. Like, I don't... That's like y'all are making such good points because that's ridiculous. <clears throat> Hannah said to me, "This is really giving 2014 graphic design course final project because I basically made something very similar ten years ago." <laughs> um, uh, markers are probably a hard no for this planner. I don't have markers, or I would absolutely. Ballpoint pens should not ghost. That's the thinnest paper you can buy in the looks of it. Gel pen would definitely bleed through. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I have a... Maybe it's not... Is it ballpoint? I don't know. What do y'all know about these? I don't know. It's a pen. Um, okay, so not that Kate said. Quick comment as I'm cleaning my kitchen, but as someone who worked at a copy a copy shop in university and now has uses Canva a lot. This is so crap. Seriously, cash grab, but poorly thought out because um, shipping would cost a fortune. Yeah. So um, that's that's literally it. That's literally it. That's a ballpoint. Okay. So many shortcuts. I didn't know I had so many people who knew so much about graphic design and planners. Y'all are awesome. I remember going, this could actually, honestly, this could really hurt someone if I hit them with it. Like, I'm not going to, but I'm just saying, like, it's that, it's that heavy, bulky, and just, it's a lot. Does she live in Texas? Because she might actually think bigger is better. No, she lives in Tennessee. She lives in Nashville. But there is a video. Um, it's not new, but we haven't seen it. But it is about, it is about, um, this so i thought that we could watch it together and react to it and she said last call for real and so she's talking about um obviously her her uh planner that we just went through um and i think that in february i will try to sit down and actually use the planner but because january is already halfway through what would i just do that for just january so i might actually try it in february <laughs> for a month at least and see how i feel about it I'm not going to leave like a, um, a review or anything. Okay. Y'all want to watch and react to that video that's called um, Last Call for Real and it's about her planners? hundred, Yeah, over $100. It's $130 currently. All right, let's watch it and let's react. Let's see what's going on and what she says about it. Because now that we've seen it, maybe, maybe we have some better idea and can actually be like, uh, wrong. Good morning. Welcome to my mess. <sighs> I have to go. I'm up, getting showered, putting my makeup on, and I have to go to a breast scan this morning. I'm taking my, this is what I do every morning. Whoops, oh my gosh, don't lose it. CBD energy and activate. Like, it's the only thing that makes my life okay. That science, by the way. Oh. So I wanted to come live and I also need to put my makeup on, so we're gonna do it together. Um, I wanted to let you guys know that this today is really the last call to buy the planner. Um, I have to order them because there are people that have ordered them and they want them. I have to order the second hundred um, tomorrow. So today is the last day. I, for those of you who already did order the planner and you're in my badass community, I will be in there live, maybe right after this. I have to blow my hair though, so I don't know. At some point, 
I have a breast scan this morning. Um, by the way, I don't know how you guys feel about mammograms, but I'm against them. Ah! I know, counterintuitive to what everybody thinks. But it's an x-ray, and I'm not interested in having my breast crushed. It hurts. I've had one done. Boo effing who? I'm sorry. I'm an ultrasound tech. I work in radiology. Please get your breast scans. Fun fact. Y'all, the saddest thing, I hope I don't get emotional, but the saddest thing that I've ever watched, um, one of the saddest, was some was a was a person who came in who was getting her breast scan, but she had been taking care of a sick relative for months and she had this issue on her breast that she just ignored because she was taking care of a sick relative. And by the time she was getting it scanned, the tumor was has had eaten through her skin. You get that? She got it scanned and then she had to do an ultrasound. The the gold the gold standard is a mammogram, but when there is something um, possibly on the breast or in the breast, they do get an ultrasound a lot of times when, when there's double, at least in the place I was at. Um, and, and I saw the tumor on her breast. It ate through her skin. I thought, I, I thought, I thought I didn't like Melissa. I have stronger feelings than that. Actually, Melissa, can you not tell people what to do with their body? You don't like your mammograms? Then you know what? I'm not, uh, you do you. Don't go, okay? I mean, you should, but don't do it then. That's fine. But but keep that bull crap to yourself. Y'all, she's going to make me lose it. You know what's worse than a mammogram? Double mastectomies. Double mastectomies, yep. Oh. Anyway, I'm just going to keep playing. I'm sorry. I didn't know she was going to say that's going to trigger me before and I will never do another one. So that's I fine. strongly recommend an ultrasound, which is what I'm going to. OK, but OK, ultrasound is is not the gold standard. Ultrasound's not going to catch everything. We use ultrasound um, whenever I worked at this hospital. We used ultrasound to look at these certain things found on mammograms. You don't like getting your breast crushed. All right, well, at least you still have them. Jeez. Dude, first of all, like, this is how messed up I am going to tell you about the planner situation, but, and what I'm about to do in my badass community that you're missing. But here's the thing about mammograms and your little feet. Here's the thing about mammograms um, they're not even as effective as an ultrasound, but insurance, I don't have insurance because. Hey, Melissa. Hey, Melissa. I'm an ultrasound technician who has scanned breasts. I'm an ultrasound technician. Mammograms are the gold standard for breasts. You get an ultrasound on your breast when something in particular is found on a mammogram or when you come into the ER and, and you have like uh, I don't know, redness, swelling, whatever. Um, they, they'll do an ultrasound a lot of times just because the mammogram's not right there and because it could just be like an infection right there. She's wrong. I want you to know on all accounts, she's wrong. She has no idea what she is talking about. Am I yelling at you? I'm sorry. I'm angry. I'm mad. She she literally could cost people their lives. Anyway, anyway. I don't give a shit about health insurance. I'll pay cash. Thank you. I would prefer to be a customer. And make my own medical decisions. The door is opening. <laughs> Hi, good morning. Um, I'm on live, babe. Did you just wake up? Yeah. Yeah. Izzy's upstairs doing something. You want to go play with her? Yeah. All right, bye. <laughs> okay, good morning. Um, anyway, it's nothing better than a little tiny morning voice, isn't it? Anyway, what I was saying is, um, um, so I'm gonna have this breast scan, which is like, uh, it's so strange. It's in like a hotel conference room. Did you know that you can do that? It's been like serious drama with doctors trying to get me an ultrasound instead of a mammogram. Like they don't wanna do it. Why do you think that is though? Why do you think that is? It's because it's not the gold standard. That's like, 
I don't know, you know, x-rays for bones, right? That's like getting something else instead of an x-ray for your bones. It's not the gold standard. You might miss something simply because it's not the gold standard. They don't even want to let you cash pay. It's insane. So anyway, I got one and I'm going to do it this morning and I have no idea where I'm taking my boobs out in some hotel, whatever. I'm going to figure it out. Good decision. Um, but I highly recommend thinking about a breast scan no. instead of a mammogram. No. Because it no. doesn't hurt and it's significantly more effective. Matter of no, it's literally not though. And she's going to drive me nuts. It's literally not more effective. The gold standard is mammogram. I've seen a mammogram versus an ultrasound when it comes to breasts. Just hear me out. Please, please do your mammograms. Please do your mammograms. Ultrasound is effective to an extent. The mammogram is highly effective. And the ultrasound is going to be able to pinpoint things, specifically like look at a certain thing that a mammogram saw. Okay? Pain, pain now is to potentially save your life. Okay, yeah. Anyway, sorry, y'all, that I'm so, like, <laughs> my mood changed because she's giving medical misinformation that could actually unalive people, all right? In fact, if they find something on your mammogram, they then go do an ultrasound. Why do I want to go to step two? Did I not just explain why? She's, she's got me. She's got me feeling some... I was going to say something that's kind of rude. Yeah, to me, Melissa Collins, not so smart toe. You know what I mean? Not the brightest light bulb in the room. Just do the best. Give me the best thing first. Like, why are we making these decisions? The oh, because insurance said so. That's no. a terrible reason to do anything. Not for nothing, but stupid. So I'm not doing it. So anyway, that's what I'm doing. That's why I'm up. That's fine. The point of this live is... This is the last day to order the planner. After this, um, either right away or sometime today, we've already done a five-day goal-setting challenge that you've missed. You've not missed it forever. So if you grab the planner and you get in the group, it's the posts are all there. You can go back to them. Um, and the live I do today will stay there. So people always ask me such a confusing question. Like, I always wonder, like, good morning, Amy. Do people, like, know how social media works? They're like, is the live going to be on replay? What the hell does that mean? Are you keeping the live up? That's simply what that means. Is it going to be on replay? Are you keeping it up? It seems like you're the one that doesn't understand why people ask that. Because some people take their lives down. It's very simple. Like some people actually delete their live once it's done. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Lives are always on replay. No, they're not. They're really not. <laughs> no, I'm not going to record a live because it's on replay. So anyway, um, I am gonna be talking about the next step of planning. And this stuff is really important. Far before you get the actual tool in your hand, look, this planner is cool. If you didn't see my reel last night with the little girls holding it, <laughs> it it's huge. Um, it's a great tool, it's going to help you. But the reality is before you have the actual tool in your hand, you need the skills to deal with it. So you've set goals before and you haven't reached them. Hmm. Wonder why? It's not because of the specific planner, guys. It's because of you. It's because of the actions that you take every day. And so what we're going to be talking So you're telling me that the way she's talking to me is supposed to make me want to buy her $130 planner? I, I don't know. I don't know about that. So she's wanting more people to buy her planner. And the way you're talking to them, you think that, that they're going to want to buy it now? ridiculous right because because uh, she's just being straight out condescending and rude what's the point that's just a terrible way to go about trying to sell something clocka said why is she rude to her viewers right they're like they're the people supporting her what's the what's the point talking about today in my badass community and i hope that you're in there or if you're not in there you order a planner today which is the last day to get it if you need the link to order it's all over my profile, but if you need the link to order and you can't find it, message me um, because I really am shutting off sales after today. I may possibly open them up again in late January, but it won't be till after the new year. Um, so why, what do we need to do first to set ourselves up for success? Well, most people's problem 
if we're being really honest, with not, uh, first of all, not even creating correct goals. And the reason they can't create correct goals and then not being able to meet them is self-confidence and self-doubt. And the problem is... So you're saying they're not meeting the goals with MLM because of self-confidence and self-doubt. So what she's trying to do is make them think that the reason they're not meeting their goals in MLM is due to themselves. When we know that most people in MLMs will never reach their goals because MLMs work best when only 1% are successful. This is this is what they do to try to keep you in. You know what? You're messed up. You you have a lack of self-confidence. You have a lot of self-doubt. You know how that's going to be fixed? Stay with me. Let let's work on this. Let's train. Let's get you feeling better about yourself. Let's build your self-confidence and then you'll be more successful. But what she's not saying is, well, I mean, you you know, most people don't do this because it's just the way it works best, but you know, it's still your fault. She's she's trying to make them think that staying in, putting in more money, trying harder, and working with Melissa is going to make them have more success. It's not. Statistically speaking, it's not. Is that people think, oh, I just need to get more self-confidence. But nobody ever teaches you the actual tactical, what do I do today to build self-confidence? <laughs> Daniel like, Hart. Danielle, I said a weird way of putting people down, but okay. Right. This whole thing is for you to buy her $130 planner. That's what she's wanting is for the last hundred to finish up, to buy her $130 planner. That's what this live is about. <laughs> this is what she's doing. Her tactics are so weird. Nobody teaches the how do you actually go get more self-confidence. That's right. what we're going to talk about today. The actual what do I start doing day to day to build my self-confidence and my self-worth. Because here's the deal. I don't care what goals you set, you are only going to achieve at the level you believe you're worth and no more. It's like a thermostat. It's like a thermostat on the wall. It's like expecting your house to get to 80 when you have it set to 68. Okay, but, but here's the deal. You're expecting your house to get to 80 because Melissa's telling you your house could get to 80, but your house can only get to 70 because that's the truth. The truth is your house can only get to 70. But Melissa's saying, you buy my planner, I can get you to 80. But realistically, there's no way. There's it, Statistically speaking, there's no way. The house is not going to get to 80. Just because Melissa says it's going to get to 80. You know what I'm saying? She's uh, And I like what Klocka said. Klocka said, guess who else uses those tactics? Colts. Right. It's not going to. You have a thermostat in your life and it's your self-worth and your self-belief and it's not going to change. It's not going to change if you do not do specific things to fix it. We all struggle with self-doubt. All of us. Have you ever tried to talk and put on mascara? Because it's just not easy. And I don't always wear like a whole bunch of makeup, but I don't leave this house without mascara. Am I the only one? Is there any other mascara girls in here who are like, I'll do anything. I'll go out without a bra on. I'll go out in my pajamas. I ain't going outside without mascara on. <laughs> I'm not the only one, right? Anyway, what I was saying is we all struggle with self-doubt. We all do. And, and, and it comes, the, here's the good news. And I'm not going to go too much into this because I'm giving this training in a few minutes in my badass community. Here's where it comes from. It comes from other people. They're not real. Those thoughts about not being enough, they're not your thoughts. You aren't born with them. That's not how you were born. Um, and here's what really motivated me in my life to change was my children. When I realized that outside sources, the world, my family, people who, who do love me and loved me gave me those beliefs and that self-doubt, I made a, a real decision to not do that to my children. I'm not going to speak those words into my child. I'm not, I'm going to be the, I'm going to be the chain breaker. I'm going to be the one that breaks this chain and that we don't go forward like that anymore. I raised incredibly self-confident children and I'm doing it again. I mean, go watch my reel from last night. That was unprompted. I didn't teach those girls to say that. They believe they're champions because they're told every day you're a champion. And they believe that because we behave like that and they witness it, they see it. 
And so for me, when this was difficult in the beginning, the easiest way for me to get started was to do it for my kids. And so some of y'all are living a life that you would not want for your children. You're, 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 you're low self-confidence, you have self-doubt, you're filled with self-doubt, you're broke, you're living paycheck to paycheck, you're struggling, you're stressed, you're financially stressed, you're emotionally stressed. You're really so some people are living paycheck to paycheck simply because of their self-doubt. What kind of, look, look where the world is today. It's not self-doubt. It's just not self-doubt. She's making, she's making it seem like you're in your position because it's your fault. You did it to yourself, but that's just not true. <laughs> that's not true. That's not how this works. And I'm not saying, I'm not saying everyone is relinquished from the idea of you did this to yourself, but a lot of people are. Uh, Nicole says she lacks, she completely lacks empathy. Right. Right. Tante quoting, they have no time for losers, right? Oh gosh. Relationships aren't great. Your kids are watching you and they're learning how to do life from you right now. And you are teaching them to go build a life just like you have. You think you can tell them, oh, you could do things differently and you can have whatever you want in your life. They're not listening to you. They're watching you and you are building their life right now. And they're going to end up just like you. And if you're comfortable with that, cool. If you're not, time to change. Time to make a change. If you don't wake up jumping out of bed in joy about the life that you live, time to make a change right now for your kids, okay? Um, so that's what made it easier for me anyway. I have weird things in my bathroom counter. Like, what is this? <laughs> this is, this just appeared here. This appears to be unicorn rhinestone Plus, this is not mine. Anyway, um, so my message today is if you're in the My Badass community, I will be in there live training about overcoming self-doubt and raising your self-confidence and the specific things you need to start doing right now. If you are not in My Badass community, you need to grab a planner. If you need the link, message me um, and I will get it to you. But today is the last day. I am not taking any more orders after today. I am inundated. The picture you saw me post last night is like 30. There's like a hundred of them in my office that I need to, this afternoon after this breast can, go down there and build all the boxes. Like I'm a shipping department all of a sudden. I, I don't know. Um, and mail all this out. The UPS guy officially hates me. And then when he finds out that he has to pick these up and bring them out again, he's going to hate me even more. So, <laughs> So there's that. Um, but I really, really um, want to implore you that this is, you know, people are like, oh, I, I need to see the, I need to see the um, inside of the planner. No, you don't. Because it's not about the tool. What does she mean? No, you don't. Because if I would have seen inside this planner, I wouldn't have bought it. I mean, I, again, didn't purchase it. A member did. God bless you. Um, and then said, hey, I'm, I'm sending this to you. <laughs> said, okay. Um, but the, I think the reason is because she knows they they wouldn't have, they wouldn't have purchased this for $130 if they saw what was inside. It, it, seriously, that's wild. The amount of training that you're going to miss and the amount of personal development that you're going to miss by not being in there. Now she's fear mongering. big. So it's big. Um, I don't know why can't you be in the group, Michelle? Oh, I should give him a loaf of bread. I wonder if he would take a loaf of bread. Uh, I don't know. Um, I don't know. I, I I need to go. I need to go give him some CBD energy and some. No. I don't know what else. I feel bad though. He knocked on the door last night, <laughs> and they don't normally knock. They normally just drop the stuff on the front porch. He knocked on the door and was like, "Um, there's a situation in my truck. So what do you want me to do?" And I was like, "I don't know what you mean. Like, bring them over here, put them by the garage." He was just like wanting to put them. He didn't want to put them up on the step. I think if we were going to have to bring them in, so it was really nice of him. So he was sweet. But anyway. Last call, get your planner today, 
or I'm shutting off sales. They will be sold out until further notice. Again, I might open it up again in January, but that's a big if. It, we're gonna see how painful it is to ship all, because remember, I have to create every shipping label and ship all these out now. Why did I do it this way? Some people are like, oh, you can drop ship. Yes, you can. I would have had to raise the price. So I wanted to make it as affordable as possible. And I could have done it digitally. You wanted to make your $130 planner as affordable as possible? <laughs> Dog, Melissa, that's a joke because there's nothing in here. Like there's nothing in here that's different from a $20 planner. That's a joke. Oh, my God. you're right. Like I could have emailed it to you, but it wouldn't have worked. And you could have emailed it to me. You definitely could have. And I wouldn't have to pay shipping plus 130. Well, again, I didn't purchase it, but people wouldn't have had to pay shipping plus 129. And I was not, I'm not doing this because I want it to be easy for me. I'm doing this because I want you guys to have something that's actually going to work and impact your life. And so I'm willing to do extra to make sure that that happens. I'm just only willing to do so much. So today's the last day, period, end of story. Figure it out, get a credit card, use Klarna. I don't know what to tell you, but get it done. Um, I'm gonna take the money out of my, I don't know what PPL bill is. I don't know what PPL bill is, but whatever that is, I believe that investing in yourself makes good sense. And I've never invested in myself and not gotten back tenfold. People who are unwilling to invest in themselves. Oh, electric. Yeah, who needs lights? Um, I'm just kidding. You need lights. Um, people who are not willing to invest in themselves, they never move forward. The reason why you struggle to invest in yourself, again, it's because of this thing that we need to, I'm going to go train on. It's self-doubt. You don't trust yourself. You don't believe you'll even open the planner. You don't believe that you'll go watch the trainings. You don't trust you'll really destroyed. And that's why you struggle to invest in yourself. We've got to get that fixed. You've got to take that first step. Take that first step so that you can change that. All right. For those of you in the My Badass community, I will be in there soon. I do need to blow dry my hair and then I'm going to go do that. Do you want to watch it from, do you want to watch the video from the My Badass community? Do you want to watch the video from the My Badass community? Or we know. Who thumbs down this live already? Melissa? Melissa, are you watching? <laughs> hey, girl. Hey. Uh, this planner sucks. Just does. <laughs> but for real, do you want to watch it? Because I do. I might have to share my screen if it doesn't let me download it because it's in like a, a group thing. But <clears throat> let's see. Self we'll start with this first one. We'll start with this self-worth one. Okay, hold on. All right, take a second. Okay, hold on. Enter the private Facebook video URL you want to download. Give me one sec. I've got to do it the weird way because it's in a Facebook group thing. Oh, that's not the right video. Okay, cool. You want to watch it? Oh my gosh. Maddie Hill, that is so generous. Thank you so much. Maddie said she is wild. Me and my mom talk about her constantly. <laughs> she is pretty wild. Okay, so we're going to watch her video. Again, Maddie, thank you so much for that super chat. That's super generous of you. I appreciate it. Um, did you have to say I love hanging out with y'all? Okay, cool. So y'all, y'all are down. Y'all want to watch the one from her, her group. All right. I'm just going to have to share my screen if that's okay with y'all. I'm going to be small then. Y'all cool with me being like a tiny in the corner so that we can actually watch it. 
Um, let me, okay, let me see. Window, entire screen. I want to move this. Um, share screen. Mm. Let me see. I would like to put the, that tab here. There's got to be a way for me to do it. So I can definitely do this. I can do this, y'all. I can do this. Let's Let's see. Okay, I'm going to remove that one. Present share screen. Oh, you know what? I'm going to try something really quick. I bet I can do it this way. I need Aaron. Hey, Siri. Can you FaceTime Aaron? Bees? Y'all. FaceTime my bestie, and we're going to get this video up for y'all, and it's going to be good. I might have to mute for a second. <laughs> the way she answers her phone. We always go, bitch. Hey, I'm on live. Okay. But hi, I... everybody. Aaron says hi. Don't show me. I won't show you. <laughs> I won't show you. Um, but um, what I, I need our password, but first I'm going to mute myself. The All right, I got it, y'all. What are y'all doing, crazies? We're just looking at Melissa Collins' terrible planner. <laughs> I woke up an hour late, though. God bless them well, for all being here. Sunday. That's the vibe today. That it. I mean, yeah. That is so cute in a beanie. You should see what's under it. Uh, probably what is on Facetime on my head right now. <laughs> Probably pretty similar. It's very <laughs> similar. Oh, Aaron, there was just an, uh, a code sent to your email, a six-digit okay. code. Y'all, we are we are getting this video for y'all. <laughs> it takes it, it takes a, a village. Aaron and I share a stream yard. <laughs> <laughs> People don't know that. They don't. Y'all know that we share a stream yard. They know now. Yeah, they do. Ready for the code? Mm -hmm. I think I can read this without being muted. Yeah, 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 because I'm just going to pop okay. it in right here. 814. 814. 604. 604. Done. And it, I need to know if anybody is watching the uh, the Ole Miss LSU women's basketball game in the background like I am. Aaron's wondering if any of y'all are watching the Ole Miss uh, LSU. LSU basketball basketball game in the background. Ole Miss is winning right now. Are if they? I you know you know. Like crazy. Okay, hold on. Are you just gonna share? Are you just gonna share your screen? Yeah, I'm like coming. I'm like, hold on. Okay. Damn it. I don't know if the sound will work that way. I'm not sure. Okay. Hmm. One sec. Do you want me to see on the YouTube video in the comments? So does Nico? Hold on.
Okay. Damn it. Hold on, I'm, I'm trying to get this on. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Oh. If I can turn the volume down from this. That'd be great. Hmm. I'm going to leave that site for now. Hey. Hey, everybody. Um, give me a second. I'm going to fix it. All 400 of you on here. God bless you. Stay and hang out with me. Okay, Aaron. I'm going to let you go now so you can watch the game. All right. Love Thanks. You. Love you. I'll bye. You okay. Bye. Okay. Bye. All right. So while I'm fixing this, you can like the video. You can think of a better planner and put better planners than this in the comments for people because this planner sucks. But what I'm trying to do is get this video pulled up for y'all. Share screen. The problem is. Hold on. Aaron Condren? We are not in a hurry. Okay, y'all are just hanging out with me on a Sunday. I love that. I'm just trying to get this video. It's hard because this video is in a group and it it takes a minute to get it all situated. And I didn't think we were going to go through it, but it's only been an hour and 18 minutes and so y'all are still hanging out. So I thought we could go ahead and um, try to get this to work. I wonder if I can like turn down the volume of a certain. Hmm. Oh. I'm I need to be better at computers is really the issue. <laughs> okay, so if I go here and um I might need a DC or a Charlene or something. But oh, the URL that makes more sense. Copy, open tab, paste. But see, I don't know which one. I guess I'm just going to copy and paste it all. see what happens a lot of times it oh my gosh I did it sorry for the yelling I can't believe I did it I did it <laughs> oh, yay! 
you. Happy Sunday, everybody. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. Oh my gosh. All right. I got it done. It just took me a second. Thank you all for being patient. Now we can watch it. Here we go. All right. Good morning. Good morning or afternoon or evening right. or whenever you're watching this. Um, for those of you who saw the live on my personal profile today, you knew I was going to come in here and talk about self-worth. Um, and it's interesting how I have to get this live done today. I'm super busy today. We have people coming in town to visit. I had a breast scan this morning. Um, every Tuesday at 1030, we have a date at the library. We go to story time at the library with the girls. So, and I've got some people coming in this afternoon and then we have dance this afternoon. Like I'm busy. And, but I said I was going to come in here and do this. And so I'm telling you that because that's a big part of this discussion. So I want to start with this. I want to start with this. Your self-worth has, has nothing to do with what you look like. Your worth in this world has nothing to do with how much financial abundance you have, how much success you have, your achievements and accolades. Wait a minute. Okay, no, she was talking, your self-confidence does though, or something like that, right? Because we just heard her talk about that. Wow, I couldn't say that word. Um, it has nothing to do with any of that. Who you are is not what you look like. You are a soul, right? Your self-worth and the weird stories that you have in your mind about your self-worth are made up. They were handed to you mostly by your parents, the people who raised you, society around you. Um, the, 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 the content we consume, the television, the movies, all of that impacts the stories that we tell ourselves. And over time, we start to build those stories and create stories about ourselves that we decide we believe. You were born with absolutely perfect self-confidence. It's really important that you start to understand that and evidenced by like, go hang out with a baby who's learning to walk. They don't worry about, are they going to be good enough to walk? I want you to know. Worry about it. Look at how kids, if you allow them to dress themselves. This is in the actual group, the um, self group, the, the group, the bad, my badass community group. This is what she's teaching them. It's how they'll dress because they just believe it looks amazing. <laughs> they don't care what the outside, they, they haven't bought into all these beliefs from the outside world yet. They have perfect self-confidence and they have very little self-doubt. They actually do believe that they can jump off of that 10 foot building and not harm themselves. Now we learn over time, but but those beliefs, that self-doubt that's in you, that belief set that you have was put there by someone else. So it's not real. So first you have to accept that. That's a really important thing. For me, when I started doing this work, um, what I leaned on, what I relied on was when I realized that was true, that other people had put self-doubt in me and that I had struggled in my life because of that. I'm a mom first. I'm always a mom first. And I had a, I started doing this work when my son was around six or seven. And I started realizing that my words were, it were going to impact him for the rest of his life. The way that I speak, the way that I teach him to speak about himself, the words that I use to encourage him, the words that I use to encourage me, the actions that I was taking in my life were impacting his future. When I really accepted that, it became a lot easier to fix my shit. It's just a lot easier. Because we will always do stuff for them faster than we will do stuff for us. And so if you're a mom, I would encourage you to accept that in your life and realize that either you or the world is going to program your children. And what do you want them to be programmed to believe? Because my son, my 19 year old believes he's a champion. And he believes that because I built it in him. I built it in him by the words that I intentionally used and the stories that I told him about himself. And I built it in him by letting him watch me believe in me. And so that was my driving force. And so I wanted to give you that, but, but what can you do to build self-belief? Listen, self doubt is just a story you have about yourself. 
And self-confidence is something that it, it's our reputation we build with ourself. The reason you don't have self-confidence has nothing to do with anything except for not trusting yourself. You have a poor reputation with yourself. And I want you to know that this is a lifelong process. I'm a pretty self-confident person. I've worked on this really oh, I know. In the last week, I've had moments of extreme self-doubt. When uh, So for those of you who are part of lab, you know that the app that I built is down and it's, and it was, it, it, the reality is it was due to a mistake that I made. And so. Oh, I'm sorry for that laugh. That one was a bit weird, but I must say that it's really interesting that her app is down, you know, the one that she bragged on and the, cause she said it was unlike anything anyone's ever done wow sometimes you can be too confident sometimes things can not be what you say they are and that's what a grifter is in my opinion you're selling stuff you're too confident you think wow this is life-changing but it's really not um and it's really what everyone else has done if you're like julie joe that's not your color trust me it is my face is just red <laughs> um so her app's down Remember the one I tried to be a part of but wouldn't work? Yep, that was it. The one that was made by Passion.io, which is like an app, the, the way you, you could, uh, like an app creating system. The one that she said that she handmade. Yeah, that one. Uh, that one's down. So the confidence might have been a little too high. And... Having too high of confidence is just as bad as having too low of confidence, in my opinion, because too much of something and too little of something are kind of the same thing, in my opinion. How dare her? After saying my struggles that I don't want are ruining my kids. Sorry, but what the actual F? Right. Uh, for Android only, it, it works. For, for <laughs> iPhone, it doesn't work. So I'm doing my makeup while we're doing this, just because... I want to. Uh, didn't she also get her son into an MLM? She did. Her son, yeah, she did get her son into an MLM. From what I know, from from what she's mentioned earlier, I thought I could be mistaken, but I really thought she was talking about him being in an. Yeah, yeah, because he was in the like the top ten. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Lisa Hans said, "At least she's admitting that it's due to a mistake she made instead of blaming it on someone else." Well, you know what's funny, Lisa, is that this is in a group. This isn't her my badass planner group. She would never, she would never say that on her public Facebook page. She would never say that she did. She made a mistake on her public Facebook page because I have a feeling she might talk to people a little nicer in this group than she does to um, her public Facebook. So I am, I will say I'm surprised she's telling anyone it was her fault, but I don't think she would ever say that publicly on her public Facebook. It caused this like thing to come up in me like who am I that I think that I can do this I can administer this app these people are talking to me first of all they're talking to me at six in the morning I have to have these meetings super early in the morning because they're in India and they're saying words that I don't understand and I'm like how can I ever drive this process if I'm not smarter than these people anyway so all that self not, came Melissa. back up what but because I have built layered upon stories because I have continually followed through that those stories, I quickly scratch them out, quickly say, no, 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 I know who I am. I'm going to continue doing, I'm going to continue doing the next thing until I get to the result I want. You build that by starting small. You have to start building a reputation with yourself that you will in fact do what you say you will do. So this morning when I was on live with my hair all wet, I realized oh, as I was saying, I'm going to come oh, live my. in this group and do this training that I had this crazy busy day. And it was easy for me to say it because I know I'm going to find time. I know I will sit in the car in the parking lot and figure out 15 or 20 minutes to do this live. I believe myself because I've, I, I, I've, I, because I follow through. I have a really high reputation with myself because I continually do what I say I will do. You've got to start somewhere, guys. And so the tactic is you've got to stop saying stuff unless you're going to do it. Don't go set about all these things that you're not going to do. It, it can be super simple stuff like getting ready in the morning is difficult for me. So I'm going to start laying out my clothes the night before so that my mornings run smoother. I'm going to lay my kids clothes out and I'm going to lay my clothes out. So it's one less decision I have to make in the morning. So my morning runs smoother. 
getting up tomorrow and I guess my big question is is this is what is all this worth 130 bucks okay that's my big question actually doing it it's one little layer that you will build on top and one little reputation that you're going to build with yourself that you do what you say you're going to do it is becoming a person who is non-negotiable about doing what she says she will do or he says he will do is how you build this unshakable self-confidence and you start small you don't have to start with the big things i said to someone this morning and if you're going to be in this group you got to know as i get to know you you may not think i get to know you but i do stalk y'all i do go look oh, at your profiles and i know what's going great. on um sometimes you will find me and i won't do it on a public message but I sometimes have pretty strong words to say to some of you as I get to know you. What? Um, and I said to someone this morning, it is very evident to me that your self-worth is wrapped around what you look like. Okay. All right. Melissa. Okay. I guess my question is, what do you think Melissa's self-worth is wrapped around? Because <sighs> what are you doing telling people that? Do they ask? for that assistance or are you just are you just doing that because you think you can what the heck she's like i just want you to know i might hurt your feelings fun fact you paid 130 bucks to me and i might hurt your feelings what stop you have wrapped it around that because every time i ask you publicly or in private what your goal is you always wrap it around exercise fitness and food stuff and i think that's what's holding you back from how do you what do you mean that their their self worth is wrapped in their how the, their looks because they have goals of fitness, uh, food and certain things like that? What if they've been struggling with that? What? That doesn't. That's weird. That's weird. Um, going and getting all the other things in your life because you believe that until you look a certain way, you don't deserve these other things in your life. Your self worth has nothing to do nothing to do with with your with with what you look like you can be uh, i said to her this morning i said what if i told you that you could have all the success and wealth but you have to stay in that same body for the rest of your life would you say yes you probably would what? but you're but think about that what? let's think about that your body and what you look like is holding you back from going and taking the actions to go get all the financial success that you need. What the hell? Because you've chosen to believe that your worth has something to do with the way that you look. And it doesn't. It really doesn't. Those are made up stories that we've chosen to believe. That's weird. So what I would like you to start doing, because I'm just telling you right now, you're not going to be able to set appropriate goals and you're not going to be able to go about reaching those goals. If you don't start doing this one thing, you've got to start small, go figure out what you're going to do that you're going to follow through with that you can follow through with and start building and building and building upon this, this belief, this reputation that you're going to set with yourself. That if you say you're going to do something, you show up and do it. Look, if I say I'm coming to a meeting at Thursday at nine, unless someone cuts off both of my legs and arms, I'm getting there. I don't care if I look busted, if I have a headache. If That's really funny considering the amount of time she said the price is going up tomorrow, the price is going up tomorrow, the price is going up tomorrow, and it didn't go up either of those three or four times she said it, and then finally it went up a month later. That's really interesting for saying that because it did it. So I guess it's just a pick and choose for her. So what she says when she says, what I say I'm going to do, I do. It's not true. It only, de it depends, right? That's not true. We, we've, we've actively watched that be false. If I look messed up. If I look ugly, if I'm, if I'm not feeling good, it's really hard to get me off something I said I was going to do because I've just worked really hard to become someone who does everything she says she's going to do. Uh -uh. Along that vein, I learned along the way to be careful what I say yes to because I can overdo it. I'm a big, I do it all the time. Like I'm the girl that has to sit on my hands at the volunteer meeting because I will raise my hand. And then if I say I'm going to do it, I go do it and I will overschedule myself. That's wrong. And this is where our next conversation we're going to have comes in about scheduling and 
and what works for that. So we will talk about that. Um, I wanted to get a little bit closer to when you guys are going to have actual planners in your hands. Um, but we're going to start doing some lives on how to schedule your day, how to time block, um, and how to make that self, that stuff work for you. Because I'm going to tell you right now, you can believe me or not, there are hours and hours in your day that you don't even realize you have right now that we're going to, we're going to, I'm going to help you find. Um, and we're going to do that with appropriate time blocking and scheduling. But step one is going to work to change your level of self-doubt, to lower it, and to raise your level of self-confidence and to get rid of these old bullshit stories about yourself. And, and really, step one to that is accepting that those stories were given to you by somebody else. They're not your stories. You adopted them. It's some bullshit someone else told you and you chose to believe. And when you start to really, really understand that, you will start to talk to your children differently. You know, um, when will you start to talk to your public followers differently? Because I can't believe that you talk to them that way, but don't talk to your children that way. Y'all know what I'm saying? Because when she's talking to us, it's super rude. What? Why do you talk to us that way then? I mean, your followers too. I mean, she probably doesn't anticipate me watching really, but I mean, that's that makes it even worse that she's talking to people like that. And, you, and you're like, watch how you watch how you talk to your kids, right? Like watch what changes. Well, what do you mean? Because if you talk to us that way, I can, I can only imagine how you talk to your kids. Annie and Izzy, Brandon's little girls that I'm around all the time. If you ask them, what are you? They will rote memory instantly say champions because we tell them that every single day. That's the story we're feeding them. You're champions. You can do anything constantly, constantly, constantly feeding into them. You know, I can't get my shoes on. It's not working. You're a champion and champions put their shoes on. And you just have to, when you start intentionally talking to your children and speaking life into them and believing in them at a really high level and slowing down and listening to them and doing the opposite of all the things that were handed to me, you know, I will never say to a child, we can't afford that. I say, let's figure out how to get that money. Money's abundant and easy. Let's have, let's talk through some ideas on how to go get that thing that we want. I don't say no to kids, to any of my kids or my grandkids. You want something that costs $5,000? Let's go get it. Let's talk about how we can get that money. Let's come up with ideas. Let's, uh, money's easy. It's abundant. We can go get it. It's everywhere. You don't believe me? Let's like, this is something I've done with my kids about my, now I'm going off on a tangent about money. It's my favorite topic, so it's not a topic to talk about, but you know, when, when, when your children are little, they're so easy to implant beliefs in. And so no, I just want to encourage you to implant beliefs really that will possibly impact their life and not damage them the way most of us were damaged. So when, a, when a kid says to me, oh, what do you mean? Money is easy. Let's go for a walk. I'm going to go for a walk because if you go for a walk today and you pay attention, you will find gold in these streets. There's change all over the streets. What? You want to convince your kids that money's everywhere? Go for a walk. Pick up a quarter. That's gold. It's changing your own money mindset will change the way you speak to your kids about money. It will change the way changing your self-worth will change the way you speak to your children about their self-worth. But like, can't we also be realistic with our kids? Like, that's one thing that I, I don't know how I want to talk about it, but like just being realistic and honest, I think is one of the most important things you can do with your children, you know, at appropriate ages. Right. But I don't know, I guess I just can't imagine having her mindset on these things. What are y'all's thoughts? What are y'all's thoughts about that? I'm literally telling my kids to pick up coins off the street. Hell no. <laughs> Quarter's not gold, man. Right. Come on, everyone. Let's go on a walk and pick up coins. Uh, it's just, okay, I think this is a good point, Taylor. Sounds like she's creating entitled kids, right? Because never saying no. I don't know. I mean, I understand, I guess, to a certain extent, like she's talking about, like, she's never going to give her kids what she experienced when she was younger. And I, I get that, right? I mean, we, you know, there's empathy for that. We, I understand where she's coming from to an extent of why she wouldn't want to do that. But there's also this, you could do it wrong. There's this like exact opposite. She's doing 
the exact opposite and she's not really doing the healthy, realistic thing. And so it's like one extreme to the next, you know? It will impact everything in your life. That's why this work is so, so important. Most of you are growing kids out there. You are, you are, you are impacting someone's future stories about themselves. And if your stories about yourself are so messed up that you can't even get out of your own way to fix your shit, how do you expect to raise children that are going to grow up to believe in themselves? Like, I know that that's strong yelling, words, Melissa. guys, but you're raising, you're going to raise losers. Do you want to raise champions? Or do you want to raise winners? So apparently we're raising losers. Um, if we're not raising our kids the way Melissa says we should, we're raising losers. Hmm. I don't know about that one. What are y'all saying? <laughs> sky with sky with oh nope 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 yeah so that really did take that really that one really did take me by surprise that she said that i wouldn't imagine because i mean now what she's pretty much saying to this entire group of people that bought a 120 130 planner is if you're not raising your kids like i'm raising mine you're raising losers wow wow melissa Wow. I, I just, there's just not a whole lot to say. Like there's a lot to say, but, but which, what do I pick? You know, do you want your kids to grow up and believe in themselves or grow up and think that they, they don't have self-worth? How can you believe you're going to graze, raise kids that are going to go out and believe in themselves when you don't believe in yourself and you haven't done the work necessary? That's why this work is so important. Okay. Forget about you. At least that's what worked for me because I'm never going to do something for me, but I will move mountains for my children. And I know that you will too. I'm never going to do something for me except grift tons of people into buying a $120 planner that is not worth it. Because at the beginning of this video, we went over that entire planner. We went over that. And that planner is not worth 20 bucks. Not even. It's low quality and just poorly done. And you could tell it's for a grift. And that's why she didn't want to show us what was inside. So I hope that helps you today. Go work on some of those tips and tactics. Um, I'll be back in a few days to start talking about time blocking. Um, I'm going to put some other short courses in this group. So stay tuned. Make sure you have notifications set to all. I love you guys. I appreciate you. I hope you have an amazing. Thoughts? And that's her first video in that group, by the way. That. I don't know what to say. Yeah, if you missed the beginning, you'll definitely want to rewind. Um, because we went over that entire planner that she sold. Uh, that was raised to $130. So there's that. Uh, well, um, thoughts, everybody? So... What I just got from that is if you are not raising your children like Melissa's raising hers, you're raising losers. I'm pretty sure. And she said, she was like, if they say they want something that's $5,000, I don't tell them no. We figure out how to get it. I have a feeling she just goes and buys it for them. I didn't even pay for that and I want my money back. <laughs> I'm wishing you strength for the rest of your course, Julie. Thank you. I'm I'm a bit nervous after that one. The two videos contain very bad tips. Right. Not even good tips. Like, at least in MLMs, they'll fake a good tip. You know, they'll be like, um, the, the way that they, they'll do a training is they'll do it based on a chapter they read in some self-help book. But Melissa, not Melissa. I'll put it that way. Melissa won't do that. Melissa will take a point that she wants to make that'll make her more money and then um, make you believe that you aren't good enough or don't have enough or missing something that she can fulfill. Bethany said, if I ever have kids, I will definitely not be raising them like Melissa raises hers. Thank you very much. I'm so Rosie Pathosone says, I'm so confused about what we learned. I think that's fair. I think that's very fair. 
because I'm not gonna lie me too. Uh, well, wow, I'm not really sure what to say. So that was a look into the planner. It looks small back here. It's not. <laughs> That was really heavy to pick up like that. Please don't fall. If you fall, it will break my desk. Um, she's the definition of loud and so wrong. Yeah. Wait, we learned something? <laughs> right. She's definitely... Uh, oh, you look beautiful, JJ. Thank you, Sam. I mean, you done my mascara. Um, I have, I'll have to be replay crew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you haven't liked the video, go ahead and, and like the video. I'm thinking... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and film another video when, once we get off here. Um, and tomorrow, y'all want to know what my video is about tomorrow? Brooke Ashley Banks, uh, she, I don't know if she didn't learn her lesson or what, but she, uh, did a video on haters after my video went up. I wasn't grumpy. I was Mr. Grumpy Girls when I woke up yesterday and filmed that video or what is it? Sunday, Friday and filmed that video. So I, I do go pretty ham on her. I'm not going to lie. Hopefully not too ham, but ham enough. Uh, that Brookie really did not like, she did not like my video. So, Bab. <laughs> she will never learn. Yeah, apparently not. Um, so that's what that was over. And today I'm filming a video. Well, you know, I actually have a few options. I'll need to choose one. I haven't chosen one yet. I have it in my book. I, so the way I film stuff is I, oops, I get a cheap, random notes. <laughs> I get a cheap notebook and just like put stuff in. I think I'm halfway done with this one. You can kind of tell like where that is. <clears throat> anyway. Okay. I'm done with this. Thank you so much for being here. Um, yay, more babs. Right. Uh, if you haven't watched the whole thing, I recommend watching from the beginning and going through it. It just connects the dots so well. And it kind of, <laughs> it's kind of wild. Uh, we had over 400 people on today, and I appreciate y'all being here. If y'all could like the video, and once we get off, if you want to boost the video even more or support even more, simply um, just leave a comment. Thank you, and I appreciate you being here. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I hope I could spend a couple hours with you and make your Sunday even better if it wasn't so going so well. I'll keep y'all updated on things. Uh, have a wonderful day. I think I said that four times already. And uh, let's see if I can end this stream without being too awkward. Where's my end? There, there we are. Okay. Bye, everybody.